in the Trilateral Commission report that I mentioned, which is called the Crisis of Democracy, and they say there was a real crisis. The cri and I'm pretty frank about it. Again, I urge you to read it if you haven't done it. Now, the crisis is there was too much democracy. Uh, the system worked fine, they said, when most of the population was silent, passive, apathetic, obedient. Uh, but in the 1960s, something happened. The special interests began to try to enter the political arena to press for their demands. So who were the special interests? Uh, women, minorities, uh, young people, old people, uh, farmers, uh, working people. In other words, the population. Uh, and they're not supposed to press their demands. Uh, they're supposed to be sitting quietly and obedient while the in intelligent minority uh, run things in everyone's interest. Uh, there was one group omitted in their lament, uh, the corporate sector. And uh, that's because they're not a special interest. Uh, they express what's called the national interest. Uh, so therefore, we can't touch them. Uh, uh, and uh, like the far right, the liberal scholars just take it for granted that uh, the extraordinary power of the uh, corporate institutions is and their con control of the state and other institutions, that's just the natural order. So there's no point mentioning it. You don't mention the fact that we breathe air. And a primary concern of the trilateral scholars was the failures of what they called the institutions responsible for the indoctrination of the young. Their term, not mine. That's the schools, the universities, the churches. Uh, they're not indoctrinating the young properly. Uh, that's why we have uh, uh, these uprisings in the streets and, and the efforts of the special interests to press their demands in the political arena. So in general, they said, we have to have more moderation in democracy if it's to be preserved and the national interest is to be protected. And crucially, we must have more successful indoctrination of the young. Well, at that point, the current phase of the assault on the public education system takes, takes off. Uh, and these concerns expressed at both ends of the ideological spectrum they have led to vigorous action to restore order and indoctrination. Uh, one consequence is the assault on public education, which takes many forms. 